guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the Instagram Q&A. So it's going to be the Instagram portion. If you haven't seen the YouTube portion, the video where I answer the questions from YouTube, then I will link that down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But today's video is going to be all about the um, Instagram questions. So let's just go ahead and get into it. If I butcher your name, I'm so, so sorry. Um, but let's face it, I probably will because I'm not very good at uh, that sort of thing. Um, so anyway, so the very first question is, is it overwhelming to film and edit your videos even if you are super duper tired? Uh, let me think about this, like my answer to this question. Um, it can be very overwhelming um, because now I am in school full time. Um, whenever I started, I wasn't in school full time, but now I am and I have a whole bunch of homework. I'm in a program now and so I just have a ton of homework and so it is a lot more stressful and overwhelming now than it ever was. Like it never had like an issue with it whatsoever until this semester. Um, and so it's been really overwhelming. It's not so much finding time to edit, it's more of finding time to film because I don't really like my artificial lighting. I'm using artificial lighting right now, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. I like natural lighting more, um, and so I prefer to film in natural lighting, but, um, you know, we can't always do that. And so, um, sometimes I will film in artificial lighting like right now. Um, and so that's kind of the hardest part is trying to, time of, trying to find a time to film because I want to use natural lighting and then I also obviously want to look at least a little bit presentable. Um, and so yeah, that's the hardest part. Editing is not really that big of a deal because I can just edit anywhere, um, but filming is kind of more difficult. Um, and then I don't really like using iMovie on the computer. It's, I don't know, I just have never used iMovie on the computer. I use iMovie on, for my iPhone. Um, so I don't like iMovie for Mac, like on the Mac. It's like, it's just way more confusing than the iPhone version. Um, and so I just find it so much easier if I just use the one on my iPhone um, rather than the one on my computer because I just don't know how to work that. And so it just takes me way, way longer. Um, so yeah, it can be definitely very overwhelming, especially this semester. But I absolutely love it. Okay, the next one, oh, I didn't even say who that was. That was hey underscore it's underscore Hawkins. Um, the next one is Sterling.15. OMG, you are so pretty. Thank you so, so much. Um, what was your inspiration to begin YouTube? P.S. I love you and your videos so, so much. Thank you so much. I love you as well. Um, by inspiration, um, I kind of talked about this in the um, YouTube question version. Um, I had like some health issues um, a couple years ago and that kind of led me to not be able to continue. I had to take a little break from school and a break from work. I had to um, just quit my job because it was just too much for me. And so um, it kind of led me to um, do YouTube because I needed something to fill my time and make t like to actually feel better about myself because I just find my I found myself waking up and then just going and laying on the couch all day and then going to sleep at night and that's what I did all day because I just I don't know it just was a hard hard time for me and so this was something that helped me in such a big way I have watched YouTube videos forever and so it just kind of was like um all right let's just let's try this out and so I was like okay I'm gonna start a channel I'm gonna do it and then so I just did it so my inspiration was more um just like trying to find something to do that would make me feel better about myself as well as take my time like finding something to do with my time <laughs> since I wasn't going to school or working um, okay the next one is oh okay this is just a comment it is Mary with two R's and two Y's CX um, gorgeous with a whole bunch of heart faces thank you so so much Mary um, the next one is J A E I underscore Kim. How many years did it take you to reach 100,000 subscribers? I do not have anywhere near 100,000 subscribers, so I think she may mean a thousand subscribers. Um, it took me over a year to get a thousand subscribers. Um, 
Livin' Like Katie underscore. If you could only use one mascara for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Um, it would be the Maybelline Stiletto Lash Mascara. It makes your lashes so, so long, and I absolutely love it. It is probably my favorite drugstore mascara of all time. Actually, it's probably my favorite mascara of all time. It, yeah, it's my favorite mascara of all time. It is so, so good. Um, it just makes your lashes so long and, like, voluminous, and it's just, it's a bomb. It is so, again, that is the Maybelline Stiletto Lash Mascara. Um, the next one is underscore, underscore Stephanie 19. Um, her, hers was, um, what are you in school for and what places are on your must-see list for traveling? Uh, P.S. I love you and your videos are so great. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I love you as well. Um, I like all your Instagram posts. If you didn't know, I kind of... I'm like like a, one of those people who just like likes everything on my newsfeed, so I like a lot of your pictures. Um, but anyway, what am I going to school for? I am going to school to be a radiology technologist, so I am in radiology school right now. Um, and then I hope to be a radiation therapist, but then I'm also leaning towards specializing in something different. Um, my main goal was radiation therapy. But now I'm kind of like sliding away from radiation therapy and maybe going for CT or MRI. Um, so yeah, I am in the radiology program right now. Um, and I'm thinking of doing some videos on that. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. Because whenever I like decided that I wanted to go in to be a radiology tech, um, there was like no videos. And I was like, what the heck? There's like literally no videos and like I want videos on this. So if you guys would be interested in me doing videos on that, I would gladly do that because like I absolutely love what I'm going to school for. Um, and then what are your places on your must-see list for traveling? Um, I don't know. I definitely, most definitely want to go to Australia. Um, I want to go to Canada, which I know that's where you live, girl. Um, and then I want to go to Hawaii, which that's in the United States. Um, and then... Possibly the Bahamas. I think I'd really like to go to the Bahamas. And then I definitely want to go to California and New York City. So yeah, those are definitely the places that I would like to go the most. And then Leslie underscore Fragozo. Fragzo? I don't know how to say that. F-R-A-G-O-S-O. -O. Um, I think. <laughs> what are your favorite beauty products and why? Love you. Thank you so much. I love you as well. Um... My favorite beauty products would have to be anything from Maybelline. I absolutely love Maybelline products. Um, I just, I love, I love so, like, I don't know. I just love so many products and I could not just sit here and list them all out. So, um, I just love anything from Maybelline and I love anything from Too Faced. Um, okay, and then the next question is from Kelsey underscore Vaughn. She's one of my very good friends and so you may have seen her name before. Thank you so much for asking me a question. Um, her question is, what are your favorite contouring and highlighting brushes? Um, so I'll answer that question first. She has a couple questions. Um, so, first what I like to use is this e.l.f. complexion brush to bronze. I always bronze up my face before I contour. I don't know if you're really supposed to do that, but that's what I do. I like to do it light way. And so I just use this brush to bronze up with like any type of bronzer. And then I'll go in with like a contour color after this and so I just like bronze up here and then like on my cheekbones as well and then like underneath my chin to get rid of that double chin and then for like everyday kind of contour I will go in with the Real Techniques contour brush and I will just contour using this and like kind of blend it out this way um, and so I will use this one for like an everyday kind of contour and then if I want like a really sharp contour I will go in with the elf contour brush and as you can see like this is like you know really precise and so it's really gonna get up in there to be like very a blunt contour and so that's like more for like a night out if I use this one and then this one is more of like an everyday brush and then for a highlighting brush I use the Sigma taper highlighter and this is the F35 um, I used to use um, like a fan brush to apply my highlighter, but I wasn't a humongous fan of that. I really, really like this brush though. It like just disperses the product so nicely. Um, and like, you know, as you can tell, I kind of have a lot of highlighter on today. I like packed on that champagne pop. Um, I think that this side has a lot more than this side, you know, yellow, yellow. Um, 
But yeah, this is my favorite highlighting brush. This one is a little bit more expensive than the other ones. Um, but I really, really like it because it just like packs on like so much product, but in like a nice way. Um, okay. Then the next question she asked was, does it make a big difference between using expensive and cheaper brushes while contouring? Um, I've never used like super expensive brushes while contouring. Um, like I've always used like the e.l.f. or Real Techniques or I've used some like brushes that I found at Walmart. Um, and like they all pretty much do the same thing. So I've never used like really expensive brushes, but like the cheaper and more expensive ones, like I would say that the Real Techniques brushes are like the most expensive of the brushes that I've used for contouring. And like this is gonna create like a very similar look to some of the other brushes that I've used. Um, so I don't really know necessarily me. So I don't know if it necessarily makes a difference in contouring because I don't use like I've never used super expensive brushes for contouring. Um, the Sigma like brush line is a little bit more expensive, and so I could tell a, a difference between like the cheaper br highlighter brushes that I use and then this one. Um, and I'm just, I like this one a lot more, but I feel like it's not like a humongous difference. It's a difference, but it's not like, oh, I need to drop 30 pounds or <laughs> I need to drop $30 on this brush. Um, just so I get that type of highlight. I don't think it's that huge of a difference. And then the next question is the same thing with beauty blenders. Can you tell a difference between the cheaper ones and the actual name brand beauty blender? So this is my beauty blender. As you can tell, both of these are really dirty. This is my beauty blender and this is my Real Techniques complexion sponge. So, um, I've talked about this I think before. Um, I regret purchasing the beauty blender because I do not like this. I don't like it. Like, no. It's okay, but the Real Techniques complexion sponge is so much better than the beauty blender. I do still use the beauty blender because it was $25 and like I'm just not, I'm not going to waste $25. Um, so I do still use it, but I definitely recommend saving your money and purchasing the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. I think the flat top right here makes hu like a humongous difference, and so it just makes everything look like just so much like blend more blended out. So I definitely recommend the Real Techniques Sponge over the Beauty Blender, in my opinion. I know a lot of other people feel that way. Um, I just think that this is extremely overrated. Because it, this soaks up so much product compared to this one. And so you're wasting so much product and this is $25. I think this is $6 and you can get it at Walmart. So I definitely recommend the Real Techniques one over the Beauty Blender, in my opinion. But yeah. Okay, what's the next question? Um, what is your favorite high school memory? Um, I think that this was, this was a question on like my YouTube channel as well. Um, my favorite high school memories would definitely have to be from homecoming week. I absolutely loved homecoming week. It was so much fun. Um, what's some of my other ones? I don't know. Just like, you know, setting around, um, like, you know, those days whenever you like, you didn't have to do anything. It was just like a chill Friday and you're just like, you just like sat in the classroom and like watch movies or like talk to your friends and stuff. I definitely miss those. I think that those were like very like. Those were very fun times. And like, you know, just setting at the lunch table, talking, that was, that's a memory I miss as well. Um, any advice for someone who wants to start up a YouTube channel? My, it, oh, I didn't even say that one. Um, the, the high school memory question was from M-A-I-W-R-A. And then the any advice for someone who wants to start up a YouTube channel is from Rachie Ashley. I hope I said that right. Um, my advice would be to just do it. Like, seriously, just do it. Um, I waited like months before I actually started one. I was like, I'm going to start it. And then like two months later, still hadn't started it. So I just recommend doing it and getting into it. Um, you do not need a nice camera or like a nice computer or anything. You actually don't even need a computer. If you have a smartphone, you're good. Like seriously. Um, so I just recommend doing it. That's like my advice. Just start it. Just do it. Seriously. Just do it. Cause you won't regret it. Um, it's so awesome. And then um, TJ, my fiance, which is TJ Eubanks one, he put, how are you so pretty, huh? How? How are you so cute? How are you so cute? How? How? Um, so that's my question back to him. Um, <laughs> he's probably going to kill me for like using that little voice though. Okay, so it's underscore Chanice, I hope I'm saying that right, underscore BTW. 
I have never contoured my face before. What products would I start off with? Any specific brand? Um, well, the thing that I love and that I use every single day of my life and like I literally love it more than anything I've ever tried um, is the e.l.f. contour kit. Um, like this is fantastic. I'm serious. And especially for someone, like I love it and I have tried a lot of different things. Like I've tried the Kat Von D um, contour palette and I just, I really wasn't a fan of it and I ended up taking it back. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, this is, I mean, I use this every single day and I absolutely love it. Um, it just has like a little highlighting shade. Um, this has like a little banana powder, like their version of a banana powder, a bronzer shade, and then a contour shade. And I just recommend this palette like so, so much. It's so good. Like, and it's only $6, like literally $6 for this. And so this is definitely what I would get because it's only $6 and you have everything you need. Um, so like what you're going to do is basically just bronze up your face with, um, like I mentioned before, I use the e.l.f. complexion brush to just bronze up my face. I'll do it right now, actually. Yeah, I'll just, give it, I'll just go ahead and do it right now, even though I have a whole lot of stuff on. So I just take the brush, go like that, and then go in that like little hollow. And then, same thing to the other side. Then I go up here, and then I go up here. And then I also go underneath my chin because I have a little bit of a double chin, so I like to hide that. And then sometimes I bring it down my neck a little bit. So that's what I use with the bronzer shade. And then I just use the e.l.f. complexion brush. And then for the contour, I just go in with the Real Techniques contour brush, go in with that contour shade, tap it, and then go in that hollow again. And then I go like that, and then just to kind of blend it out, I go like that. Um, you always want to remember to less is more so you put you can always build it up but you can never take away so start off with less product and then you can always add on and then the setting powder hold on like the bare banana powder shade um it's just used to like you take you can take any kind of brush to just set your foundation and you literally just want to set in the places that you put concealer. So like underneath of your eyes, like the, any place you kind of want to like brighten up a little bit. Underneath of your eyes, maybe on your nose, maybe up here on your forehead, and then maybe down here on your chin. And then to highlight, um, you're just going to take any kind of brush. Um, like a fan brush would probably be best um, for like someone starting out because you don't want like a ton of product. And then you just want to put it like on the high points of your face. So like on your cheekbones, on your nose, on your cupid's bow. Um, and then you can put it like a little bit above your eyebrow if you want to. And you could also put it like on your brow bone. Um, and so that's just kind of how you highlight and contour. And that's like the products I use. Um, but I would definitely recommend um, the e.l.f. Um, contour kit. And then any e.l.f. brushes, they're going to be so much cheaper because... They are, like, the price points are a dollar, three dollars, and then six dollars. And so they're going to be so much cheaper than any other brand. So I definitely recommend e.l.f. Um, okay. Underscore J underscore O underscore X underscore X underscore. Um, what was your most embarrassing moment in middle school slash high school? My best, my most embarrassing moment in middle school, um, well, no one really knew about this until right now, whenever I'm going to say it. Um, but in middle school, um, we were in music class, and I was sitting with, like, my knees up to, like, my chest like this. Um, we were all, like, sitting on the ground. I don't know why, but we were sitting on the ground in, like, a circle. And I was sitting like this. Um, actually, we were sitting in rows. Yeah, we were sitting in rows. And so I was sitting with my knees up to my chest, and um, a little, little, little pooter, a little fart. <laughs> Wow. Okay, and just let out a little little fart, let it slip a little bit, um, and I blamed it on the kid next to me. I was just like, and like, the, my best friend at the time was actually sitting next to me, and like, she like put her arm around me and like scooted me closer to her, and she's like, oh my god, I can't believe he farted. <laughs> it wasn't even him, it was me. I'm the one that did it. <laughs> 
yeah, I'll still remember that this to this day because um, I blamed my fart on someone else when it wasn't it wasn't them. And like everyone was like, oh my god, I can't believe he farted. He farted in class. It wasn't even him. It was me. So yeah, that was embarrassing. Like I feel really bad about it. Like still, I feel really bad about it. And then my embarrass most embarrassing moment in high school. Um, I can't really think of like a really really embarrassing one. But one that I was embarrassed, well, not, I mean, obviously it was pretty embarrassing at the time. Um, I went to school, um, well, actually, that weekend it had, like, snowed a lot, and we'd had, like, a snow day and everything um, from school, so we were out from school, and, like, we obviously, you know, went hard and played in the snow, and, like, went sledding and everything, and, like, I got, like, a really, really bad wind burn, and so my face was very, very red. Um, and so I was like, I'm just not gonna wear any makeup. I'm just gonna go bare. And so I show up without makeup on, and I probably got asked, like, probably a good 27 times if I was sick, um, if me and TJ broke up, if I'd been crying, um, if I'd just thrown up, and then just if I didn't feel right. Um, yeah, and that was, um, I hadn't even made it to my first class when I had gotten all those questions. And so I went to the bathroom, called my mom, told her I was sick, and um, told her I didn't feel good and asked her to uh, sign me out. And so she called the school. She said, uh, Logan's gotta go home because she has a doctor appointment or something like that. And she, uh, yeah, let me go home. And so I left after my first period because I was so embarrassed because everyone kept asking me questions like that. And I was very embarrassed. That was a pretty embarrassing time. That was probably one of my most embarrassing moments. And I never um, went without makeup to school ever again after that. That was my sophomore year of high school. Never, never went without makeup again after that. And then, thankfully, I like got out of wearing makeup every single day. Okay, the next one is from Sophia's Mommy UK. If you had the chance to bring out your own beauty line collab, which brand would you love it to be with? And if you could do the makeup of anyone famous in the world, past or present, who would it be? Much love from the UKX. Thank you so much. Much love from the US to you. Um, what brand would I probably want to collaborate with Too Faced? Because I absolutely love, love, love Too Faced. Especially the Too Faced eyeshadows. They are probably my favorite eyeshadows of all time. Um, or Tarte. I really, really like the Tarte eyeshadows. So probably Too Faced or Tarte. Probably. Or Maybelline, because I also really, really, really like Maybelline. So, yeah, I'm going to choose three for that answer. And then, and if you could do the makeup of anyone famous in the world, past or present, who would it be? Much love from the UKX. Um, I would say I'd want to do Jaclyn Hill's makeup, but, like, I feel like my makeup skills are so awful, like, especially compared to Jaclyn Hill, that I would rather her do my makeup. <laughs> Like, if I had the opportunity, I'd rather have her do my makeup. But, um, so yeah, I'd probably want to do Jaclyn Hill's makeup. Or, like, have her do mine. <laughs> because I don't think she'd want me to do her makeup. Um, the next one is X underscore Amy underscore X. If you could have any makeup artist do your makeup, who would it be? Jaclyn Hill or Kathleen Lights. I really, really like Kathleen Lights as well. Or Kat Von D. I really like Kat Von D as well. I do. Even though I took back her contour kit, like, even though I took back her contour palette, I still really, really like Kat Von D. Like, as a person, I really like her. Um, and then, um, this is, like, a second question that she answered, she asked. Um, if you could bring out your own line of beauty products, what would the main products in it be? And what sort of colors would you use? Um, if I could bring out my own line, what sort of products would it be? I would definitely bring out a eyeshadow palette. Um, I would definitely bring out a highlighter and I would definitely bring out a mascara. Those are like my three favorite makeup items and that's definitely what I would do, what I would do. Um, the highlight would just be an extremely like sparkly color and then the mascara would be black and waterproof. Um, and then the palette would probably, I would definitely incorporate a lot of like neutral colors but then also like a pops of colors here and there. I absolutely love, like, um, army green, like, for eyeshadow. I really, really like putting it on, like, my bottom, like, underneath my eyes. I don't know. 
I don't even know what I'm saying. But I like putting it underneath there. Um, and so I really like that color a lot. And so I would definitely go in with like a very glittery, like neutral color for like the lid. And then, um, like a light brown color for like the crease. And then like a darker brown or even a, almost a black for, to also like darken that up. So yeah, that's what I would definitely do. That was a very good question. Um, uh, what's your favorite... This is the very last question from Lexi.Lona. What is your favorite part of YouTube? Um, definitely interacting with people I would never, like, ever in a million years normally get to interact with. Like, someone, you know, someone from Canada, someone from UK, someone from the Caribbean, they all ask me questions. I would never in a million years get to talk to someone from the UK. Like, seriously, someone from the UK won my planner giveaway, and I would never in a million years like know someone from the UK. I like was interacting with people from Australia. I like want to go to Australia so badly and so like I think it's so cool from getting to interact with people I would never in a million years get to interact with. Like I'm from a small town in Illinois and I would never get to interact with people from other countries so I think that is so stinking cool and that's definitely my favorite part. So thank you guys so so much for asking me questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and like before, if you had a, a question that you just like didn't get to ask, then you can leave that in the comments, and I will feature it in the next Q&A, I guess. Um, thank you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.